So I'm gonna talk and then Alexis, you can say some stuff too. My name is Justin McClure and I have three kids. Here's one, Alexis. I'm right? Alexis and I'm nine. So I was born in uh, North Georgia, very large family. My sister and uh, had a half brother, a step brother, had all kinds of stuff growing up. My mom, she went to school. She didn't get her doctorate, but she was almost close to being a doctor. So she did a lot of work in the church, like through like missionaries. So she would travel around and she would fix people like for free. So people in the church who had problems um, she would like go to their house and she would fix them like they had broken elbow or like they were sick. She cured seven people of polio actually. I think no, it was 12. 12 people of polio. That's like my upbringing. Um, my wife is beautiful. We met actually when I was a professional golfer. Bruh. So I'm still really good. I think I could still be professional. <laughs> I'm that good. You so did it. I'm very good at it. So one time I was up in Connecticut and I was playing in this tournament and it was like me and Tiger Woods and it was coming down to the end of like two holes to go and on the 17th hole I hit this shot over water like 230 yards with an eight iron which is like a really good shot and then as I was going in the, in the air as about to land I heard this lady say Woo, good shot and I looked over and it was it was Ami my wife and it was she was easy to spot I was like who is this I sunk the putt for birdie won the tournament beat Tiger Woods he wanted to handshake I didn't even handshake with Tiger Woods and so I know but I met your mom and then that's how I met my wife so that that's a pretty cool story now we have this business and you know I, I edit videos I'm really good around the house too I, I clean the house um, I cook sometimes I cook I really am really good chef I actually you know you get me out there on the on the grill man I can really make some some steaks so yeah. I get up every day around five o'clock in the morning and I run anywhere between nine and, and twelve miles yeah he's really good at it he's really good at cooking cooking and running like I said, I get up, I meditate. I actually hike to Machu Picchu and back every day. So every day. <laughs> I don't know why she's laughing. <laughs> Alexis, do not pretend to I hike to Machu Picchu. Um, there's a place where I'm from it's called Tulula Gorge and they, they got like a sliding rock. I actually went down on a surfboard. So that's how good I am at just doing things. I invented this light and I really want this light with made up media. I really would, would like that. I think this opportunity is a big deal. I think I'm the person that you should choose because I've just done a, a lot of great things. I mean... I also eat very well. I eat a lot of vegetables, right? Yeah. I eat a lot that's of vegetables. Um, I'm very nice. Uh, one time I kicked a horse, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you get upset at things. But we have a dog and I have not hit the dog. So, you know, we got that going for me. I've just done a, a lot of great things and I would really appreciate this opportunity, okay? Yeah, and I hope you guys really consider me. That was a prank. That's not a prank. It wasn't? No, not a prank. So hi, my name is Alexis and I have a twin sister. Her name's Ava. My twin? And my dad, he invented this light and I'm surprised nobody came up with the light before because it's a really smart idea. Yes. Well, hopefully you say yes to him because if you don't, it's not going to be good. Well, I really thought this was a prank because I never knew who he meditated in the morning or I never knew that he played against Tiger. Because Tiger Woods is a really good golfer. I still think that this is a prank, but it doesn't matter what I think. Because he seemed serious when he said it wasn't a prank. So now I don't think it's a prank. What? I said, I think it, you should look into sponsoring him because his light is... She said good things about me? Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you, Alexis. Come here. You're welcome. So that was Alexis, and now we're going to have Mom and Ava come in here. So yes, yeah. thank you so much. Okay, so Ava, yeah. um, before we start, I just want to tell you. So I'm trying to get Gleam in the store. So this is an interview like this store. Sephora and Ulta. You know what Ulta is? No. So I'm trying to get Gleam in the store, so just let me talk about it. <laughs> the last skincare system you will ever need is finally here. Gleam Beauty Inc. is your three-step body care system designed to give you that healthy, glowing, moisturized skin that you've been desiring. And it's not just a look, it's a softness you can feel. Make sure you go to gleambeautyinc.com and get your three-step system now. So I started Gleam a year? before you guys were born. Um, I started Gleam like nine years ago. You did? And hey, can you listen? I started Gleam like nine years ago. And I started because I'm really passionate about skincare. 
and like I just think skin is really important. I'm excited to talk about it and to hopefully get it in your guys' stores because you guys will see how amazing it is. Yes. So I think I've probably sold about a million dollars worth of Gleam already. And you guys don't see this room right now, but there's inventory yeah. everywhere. everywhere. Every like, the bottles, there's like I've made tears. so much product that um I can send to your stores. I'm so ready to send you so much stuff. I've gotten offers to buy Gleam from me for like five to ten million dollars. People want to buy the company from me. I feel like it's mine. So I would rather put it in the stores than to sell it. You know, ten million is a good amount of money. But if people are offering ten million, then you guys know it's a good product. So you guys should put it in your stores. Um also I need to let you guys know. Know that Kim Kardashian actually reached out to me and wanted to use Gleam. So Gleam has been used by Kim Kardashian, Rihanna, Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. She's on tour right now using Gleam. Um, <laughs> what with you? Um, you okay? Yeah. Beyonce's on tour right now using Gleam. Um, it's like, oh, oh are you, you know who we? Ava, can you do this? Okay. Try to get gleaming the stores. So, oh, and you know who reached out just now, like literally just recently, and asked about using Gleam, which is really crazy because I've been trying to get Gleam onto like other types of skin, not just brown skin, or like my daughters use it as well all the time. You see how glowy Ava's skin is. But Ariana Grande just decided that she. Bruh. <laughs> Ava. <laughs> <clears throat> you see how glowy Ava's skin is, and so Ariana Grande just reached out and decided that she would like to use Gleam. Come on now, that's amazing to see that, you know, celebrities are really loving Gleam too. So I'm gonna mail one to her tomorrow so she can try it. I'm sure she's gonna love it. She's gonna tell all her friends about it. So I think that Ulta and Sephora, I mean, even Target, you guys should really, really have Gleam in your stores. I mean, did you hear the list of celebrities that are already using it? Why wouldn't you wanna have it in your stores? Right, Eva? Yeah. What else, Ava? What else do you think I can tell them about Gleam? That all these celebrities were actually not buying your product. <laughs> and you did not, you did not make a million dollars. You made a lot, but not a million, mama. Ava, what else do you want to tell, do you think I should tell them about Gleam? It's good. Okay, I'm going to talk. Ava, Ava's not going to talk. I want to talk about Gleam because it's amazing, right? Yes, it's amazing. And the last thing I'm going to say about Gleam is that there's actually a lot of people of not just my skin tone who are now like really seeing the benefit of having glowy skin. You guys, I don't know what age bracket you guys were in, but the D'Amelio sisters, I was just looking at my phone five minutes ago. Their team reached out wanting to put Gleam in their next TikTok video. So that's going to be a really, really big deal. Really, really big deal. So I'm looking forward to that. What do you think about that, Ava? They have no words. <laughs> Who do you mean? What are you talking about? You guys have heard me talking, right? And saying all this amazing stuff about Gleam. But I'm gonna let my daughter talk and tell you guys all the amazing stuff that's happened that she knows about as well. And like, I don't want to influence her. Like, I want her to tell you guys on her own. So I'm gonna step out for a minute and then, anyway, you can just tell them all the amazing stuff. Okay. Okay. So you guys, my daughter's Ava is gonna tell you guys Gleam is amazing and she's gonna share. Just I literally know the Amelia sisters did not reach out to her. I, her Gleam is still really good and it's doing well. By the way, all those things are false. Except the thing that Gleam is good, she did not start it nine years ago. She did not make one million dollars out of it. She made a lot of money, but not one million dollars. She's lying about every single thing she said. But she's not a liar. She's lying about that. She's not a big liar though. All of those stuff, I got you. And I know that for a fact. Maybe this is a prank or she's just lying. And I'm sure Ulta would want that her her product and Sephora and stuff and Target and all those places. She shouldn't lie about it, but just telling you. Ariana Grande did not reach out to her and Beyonce did not and whatever other people she said. And no brand offered for five to ten million dollars because mama she wouldn't have accepted it because that's a lot of money. So I know she's lying. I don't know why she thought I would fall for anything. Like I'm smarter than that guy. 
can you guys talk a little bit about what you said? Alexis, you, you said you thought it was a prank? I thought it was a prank. That's why I went on the floor because I never knew you woke up at 6 a.m. And I never knew you meditated in the morning. Oh, and man. I never knew you played against Tiger Williams and won. <laughs> Tiger Williams. I'm sorry, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. And then how did I meet your mom? And mama said, good shot. And then you said, well, your mom was almost going to be a doctor. And she was? She, yeah, and uh, she went to churches and cured people with colo. And colo? I'm sorry, polo. Polo. Pull, pull, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> pull that. And she, I didn't believe that either. Well, I didn't believe what polio was. Ava, so what? But the only thing I didn't believe was was the two things. You put it against Tiger Williams because I thought he was really Woods. Famous. Tiger Woods, sorry. And you wake up at 6 a.m. every morning and go for a run because I never saw you do that. And I see everything. <laughs> so, Alexis, wait. So, if you didn't believe that, did you tell the camera that you didn't believe it or you didn't? You kept it up? You I, just, no, I just said, you just didn't. I just said, I know this is a prank and nothing could change in my mind. I said some very interesting things. And I'm going to let Ava talk about what she said while I was gone. But while we were sitting there, Ava was going, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I was doing that. <laughs> but anyway, <that's> it. <laughs> <laughs> was laughing. Right? She said that um a lot of people like Beyonce are in a grande and then people like that bought her things already and yesterday yeah. about five and five minutes ago, she got called from the Emilio's and to have an offer to set a um, gig leave in a video. And she also said that she got an offer for somebody to buy her company for five to ten million dollars. And she just said, Why well, did you say that? I much. knew it was a prank. But I knew it was a prank because Mama would accept that five. <laughs> she can make I, another that's prank. Oh, she can that's make a another. prank. Uh, guys, I told you this was a another prank. Another company made I told me. you the whole thing. Maybe that is. It's true a little bit, but not the whole thing. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> no, but listen, the whole point was we were trying to see if you guys would just continue letting us lie. Yeah, the whole thing is that this is called Will Our Kids Let Us Sit There so and Lie? This is a video? Oh, no. yeah. Yeah. This is yeah, true? This is a video. I knew it! I, I knew it! 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 I knew it. I knew it. Stop. I can't I wait it. to watch back what Ava said because she said that she told them mama's not a liar But she was definitely lying <laughs> Thank you for watching and make sure you do more videos Subscribe and so on the more cases Thank you for watching